Guys, it's Martha's birthday and we've just ordered an Indian and a Chinese, so I'm going to show you what we got. You can do a little plate up with me. So first and foremost is the chips. Obviously, you've got to have chips from an Indian. Couldn't even wait for everybody else to eat, bro. Why'd you put the food directly in your mouth? Aren't you supposed to be dishing this out for everybody else around you? I guess it doesn't matter, dude. Corey doesn't really have table manners. I've literally seen this man eat pizza off a of bed after waking up. So, uh, honestly speaking, it, it's whatever at this point. We got any embargies. Oh. By the way, what's up? Dude, okay. Every every Asian place, do they all just sell, like, french fries? Like, I know here in America, if you somebody gets Chinese food, you, you might see that odd french fry every once in a while. But I got to keep it a solid buck with you guys. That's not the norm. Maybe one out of a hundred times when somebody gets Chinese food, they maybe have french fries with it. That's not something that usually happens. And over there in the UK, it seems like, or people have at least told me this, that it's just them. Like, it's not like normal in the UK to have french fries with every single meal across all spectrums of, of all your meals. So maybe you could let me know down below how, how like common this is in the UK, because I'm actually very interested. Uh, I want everybody to know, these are the people that I'm looking at. So Becky, Charlie Ann, his girlfriend, all these people are like the definitive people for me when I look at people from the UK. Before them, it was Harry Potter. So this is what I got, okay? So if this is wrong, if this is not something that's happening, I need to know. Leave it down below. Also, I got to call this dude Corey out for a second. Um, if you're going to... If you're going to have your beard come down like this, like a chin strap, right? It's fine. I have no problem with it. The issue I see oftentimes, though, is they shave this under part, okay? Like this under part here. Now, normally, it's okay to shave it if you're shaving everything. But when you shave only this part and leave this here, it looks kind of like you have a very long neck. It looks like your neck is massive and ginormous. And I always tell dudes that if you're going to shave that part right there, you should probably start, like, take your two fingers and just stop right there right there and then keep everything uh, above that and g get rid of everything below that a lot of guys have a thing called neck beards i don't i'm just genetically gifted what can i say but for Corey, it seems like he does i just recommend for you to do that and also um dude Corey being 28 years old with these uh these these crow's feet dude 28 and having crow's feet is cr is crazy i'm older than Corey here okay uh, it, it just like, it's such an anomalistic thing. I guess it really does come down to you are what you eat. Like if you eat like garbage, then you perpetually feel like garbage and that's a reflection of who you are. But anyway. My binge chip. Yeah. They're the onion margies. Damn, bro. They're quite small. Bro, wait to dish it out, man. Other people are going to eat too, right? Damn, bro. Wait. Mmm. What have you got, Pam? Mmm. Okay. Send him. Garlic rice, oh, that's my favorite. Down. What's your favorite rice from me? Everything is your favorite, bro. You, there's literally no stopping you. Yeah. Mm. Rice. The Tupperware is pretty good. Yo. Oh, is that my curry, though? No, that salt and pepper chips. I ain't have a salt and pepper chips. My mm. Indian. Is it, there are mm. other people here, bro. It's perfect. We got onion and potato nam rice. Dad, do you want some of this? I mean, okay. to okay. He's just gonna go right into it, huh? He's gonna get the bigger slice. Let's Taste be honest. Test. Ooh, mm. damn. What's that? At least he didn't drink tonight, which is a normal thing for him. Every single time. Every single time I watch this guy, it's always, Oh no, guys, I've drunk too much again, so I need to remedy it. I haven't had a Mackey's in 45 minutes, so we had to go and get a big tasty. It's my favorite of the day. Guys, make sure you like the video down below. Otherwise, how will I know you don't love me? That's him, every single time. Do I get two of It just tastes like nan bread. Yeah. Latin korma. She doesn't look so bad here, dude. I, I don't know why people in the UK tan so often. I know Corey has a fake tan on. Um, I actually recently saw the application of fake tans over there in the UK. Apparently, it's not what I thought. I thought they were just spraying you down perpetually for 45 minutes. But apparently, that's not what it is. It's like, it's like lotions almost. Like when you rub it across your body and you coat yourself in this stuff that tans you artificially. I thought it, they were just spraying you in like Indonesian like tanning salons or like, I don't know, like barber shops or whatever. You went in there, they were just doing this for like 45 minutes until you turned the appropriate darkness where you can like 
emulate the good the goodest amount of melanin but i guess i was wrong i guess it's like just application of it and uh either way it doesn't look good um you just like d turning yourself perpetually like a latina or latina i'm not fast on bone toast i can't show you the lamb coma lamb coma no way bro damn <laughs> save some for the rest I of us coma. Corey. god damn what did you got come you guys see what I'm talking about, dude? You can see it very, very, like, from the side, dude. A lot of guys, when they do get these chin straps, a lot of them are trying to emulate where they have a jawline, right? So if you're, like, you know, jawlinely and cha challenged, you might want to grow facial hair just to cover it up or to emulate a jawline. And you could tell that he doesn't have the best jawline. He's due to a little bit of mewing, you know what I'm talking about? But it's okay. But when you start shaving this bottom part here, it, your neck looks massive, dude. You have a, a long neck. So I'd recommend any dude that's uh, going to do a chin strap, which I wouldn't recommend because it's not 2004 anymore. I would recommend you to keep the bottom part of the beard at least. I don't know what his looks like. I have no idea if he's follically challenged facial-wise, but it, it doesn't look that good. I'm gosh bosh with an egg in it. Is this guy gay too? Dude, how many times? Like, I, I don't know what it is, bro. I think... Every time I see a guy from the UK, I always think there's a good chance this guy's gay. I don't know what it is, but I always get gay vibes from this. But then again, a lot of people tell me that they get gay vibes from me. A lot of people have told me that I'm a zest fest. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the dinner looks like. I got mango sauce. I got mint sauce. You don't eat me like a mango. Oh man, calm down. I just love mint sauce. Mango chutney. And obviously a prawn crack. So that's it, guys. Oh, do you want to see my dinner? Yeah. It's the same plate. Literally, your girl is literally eating exactly what you're eating, bro. Do you not have a problem with that? You're like, you're literally like a good, what, three, four, five inches above your girl, and you're a bigger man than her, and she's eating literally the exact same thing you're eating? Maybe it's a conversation. Maybe you guys talk about that a little bit. Like, hey... Oh my god, babe, you know I love you so much, but it's kind of crazy. You're eating way too much, and I'm already eating too much, and you are not me. Probably put down the fork, cut the portions in half, do that instead. That would probably be the good conversation like that. I don't know why all his voices are so monotone. Ooh, like, no expression so in it. Mm. See you later. Love you. Love you too. Love you so. Happy birthday, Martha. Yeah. Happy birthday, as they literally are eating the, the food themselves. Uh, what's it gonna be? Shall I open it? Yeah. Right, so we've got... Absolutely fucking hammered, bro. Some oh. tater tots. Nacho cheese sauce. Well, not... Chipolate sauce. Wow, look at the color on that. Sexy bitch. Bro, they're blasted, man. This is just what they do. I don't know. I don't know to what degree people in the UK are just absolutely destroying themselves every single night so the next day they can go out and get themselves a makais. But I see consistently Corey and his wife Leah or his girlfriend Leah, they, they drink a lot, dude. They go out almost every single night and they get blasted. I saw a video of Leah here literally drinking so much she fell over, like on the floor and she was like crawling around. The alcohol consumption's gotta be through the roof, man. And they do that shit consistently, like almost every night or every other night at bare minimum. And then they always remedy it with fast food. And I guess here they're just circumventing that completely and getting absolutely destroyed. And then also eating disgusting sloppy cheese tater tots at the same time i think these people are hammered here just be more responsible dude like i know that in your 20s a lot of people want to like experiment and they want to like go out drinking and stuff like that i'm not, fine whatever i don't really care i don't drink personally so i don't know the joy of it i i would prefer not to know the joy of it because a lot of people in my family were alcoholics so i think that if i did contributed to that a little bit i'd probably fall into that category so i don't want to even want to try but a lot of people if you want to drink that's fine I just think that you already have a food addiction, right? Like, you already eat so much food. And now you're drinking, like, tons and tons of alcohol, which, by the way, is going to contribute to the calories as well. But that's the least of your worries. Your liver at this point has got to be crying for help, bro. You got to, like, get, like, four or five liver transplants in your life with the amount of alcohol these people drink. In a day? In a day? And then to top it off, all the grease, salt, and all, all this other stuff, preservatives, and the foods that they're eating in general, too, as well, to remedy that? 
She's so dark, by the way. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, it's the lighting. You know, it's not so bad. Corey also has a fake tan on, but uh, the, the tan on her is always more exaggerated for some reason. Mm. Like, what's wrong with... What's wrong with being pale, right? What's wrong with being a little bit pale? Like, I know a lot of people have told me that they think that I'm, like, see-through. I'm not, first of all, dude. I got more mel... Listen, okay? I know some Korean guys that are whiter than me, and those dudes are POCs. You know what I'm talking about, dude? How are they people of color, and I'm darker than them? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, bro? I got more melanin than these guys, bro. See me in the summertime when the sun hit my face, dude. I'm marinating up in that sun. They call me they call me spicy mayonnaise, except without the spoiling or whatever like that. But you know what I'm talking about, dude. I'm spiced up. I, sh I should be a POC if that if uh, we got some guys over there in Korea dancing on the middle of the floor and stuff like that, and they're people of color. I should be a people of color if that's the case. I'm darker than him. Look what else is in the back. And these people are most definitely people of color in terms of the skin color. Hang on. We got a big, uh... Yo, why does he sound like that, dude? Look what else is in the bag. We got a burger. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat it. Oh, I'm so hungry. He's like really unleashing. <laughs> He's really unleashing his inner rage with that one, man. Why does he sound like that? Look what else is in the bag. We on. got a burger. I don't really know what burger I ordered. Another burger. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna get one. Guys, this is our cheeseburger. Ooh. This kind of looks like somebody stepped on it. Yeah, it looked like the guy behind the counter that made that shit looked like he stepped on it a little bit. Just started curb stomping it a little bit. Wow. Don't look that good. Damn, just get a bite of your hair too. Buddy. What is this relationship right now? Like, these people are literally chilling in a restaurant right now, a pink restaurant, and they're leaning up against each other because they're so goddamn hammered while they're eating processed, I, I guess, curly fries and, and tater tots and cheeseburgers, bro, while being absolutely blasted, bro. Let's taste the cheese chips. Jesus, man. Look at the... Look at the cheese residue on the hands, too, bro. These people are eating so messily. Wow, I'm losing the one table. Eating one off the table is diabolical, bro. It's already on the table. I don't know if you guys have ever worked at fast food. They barely clean these tables. Some of these tables are literally still there, unclean from like five or six different people. Because the way it works is like, if you get up and you slop down on a table or whatever, then somebody else is going to sit down at that same table. And that happens like three or four times before somebody goes over and wipes it down. Maybe they don't even wipe it down to the end of the day. So you might just be suckling, succotashing on somebody's beat off blisters on that table while you get that curly fried air. But we've got five seconds to guess where we're going this weekend. Wrong. We're coming to Manchester, baby. It is a five hour drive. So before we get going, it's only right to have a Greg's for breakfast. Damn, bro. That tan, bro. that shit ain't doing you good. That shit ain't doing you justice, dude. Going to Manchester. Gotta go get a Greg's. Obviously, gotta get a Greg's. I so wanted a few corned beef pasties. But although I'm on my holiday, I'm still trying to be healthy. So I went for yeah, some... That bread is fucking hard as hell, bro. That shit is super fucking... That's just tough as hell, bro. Rubber. Potato wedges and a chewy chicken roll. It was super tasty. Halfway up, you know we had to stop at the service station. God, and they damn. had a Tango Ice Blast machine. Somebody I... let me know how many calories these are. Because here in America, I think these, like... I think that the slushies here in America are like four or 500 calories, right? Like, they're really, really expensive when it comes to calories. Love a tangy. They had a Burger King and a KFC at this station. A healthy Corey said no. So I went for a chicken and bacon and sweet corn pasta. Probably should have gone for the for the BK, if I'm being honest. They're, geez, man. And this was stunning. We definitely want to try... Dude, why didn't you just pack something before you went? Like, if you knew you were about to be on the road all day for five hours, by the way, it's not that long. You could probably just pack, like, a good-sized meal. That shit will hold you over. I mean, are you driving yourself? It don't seem like you guys is really driving. It seems like you guys in the back. You guys couldn't put something together. You, you uh, With all the Tupperware that these Chinese takeaways give you, why the fuck wouldn't you take some time and, like, put a meal together in one of those Chinese Tupperwares that they give you, bro? Like, make a sandwich, dude, get some chips on the side, whatever, bro. I get it. You guys want to eat some sloppy, slimy, disgusting food? That's okay. But can we at least have some initiative and actually pack a lunch instead of just, it's fine, dude. They want to have excuses to eat. That's all right. Fat pats. But if you have any must-do's in Manchester, please let us know in the comments below. We've just arrived at Manny. Yo 
more bits on my blowout. And obviously, we had to order an Archie. Damn. We had one of these in Birmingham, and they were 10 10. We can't Damn. get things like this back at home. I went for the sweet home Alabama. And dude, eating the food outside at like a, a, a weird time at night, I don't know where you guys are from, dude, but even where I live, there's like a 30% chance of getting robbed just walking down the street, dude. People are crazy. And to eat late at night like this, I don't know what, what the environment looks like over there in the UK, but I feel like I would probably get robbed there too for the food, for my shoes, for everything, bro. Maybe I, maybe it's different out there. And Leah and Charla had the LA burger. I side the choices, tater tots, that the liquid cheese good. sauce. That shit's about to be liquid coming out somewhere else, huh? They love Manchester, but every time we've come, it's been for work. So I've never actually looked around properly. So you better give me some good suggestions or I'll block you. What I eat in a day. And they really fucking destroyed their diet with this one, dude. God damn. Are you smiling? Manchester, baby. We're staying in the Travelodge in sale. So this morning we've come for a Travelodge bracky. It's nothing like a Toby bracky, but we're starving and we need to. Oh, bro, a vat of beans? That's vicious work right there, bro. Who's even cooking that shit? That's uh, here in America. We don't do this. We don't. We don't really. We don't really be fucking with beans like this, dude. I did not know that you just go into a restaurant like this. You have vats of beans open. Well, obviously, we're still on a health kick, so I'm trying to be a bit more mindful. Usually, health I kick, Pepsi Max, full get at least English four breakfast. plates in an all-inclusive bracky. But today, I only he went. Looks kind of sweaty. Looks a little bit sweaty, bro. Like he just got done jogging or something like that, dude. Why you look so greasy, bro? For two, I had beans on toast, hash browns, and some sausage. Bro, what is up with this girl's hair, bro? What, what happened here? What did you, like a gust of wind just hit her in the face? What is this right here? Is this like the, the fake tan that's like, God damn. Why are you so dark in the body? Good Lord, woman. You got like three different colors of human being on you right now. Neapolitan humans. Cheers. We've had a very spontaneous date. Yo, your girl is darker than the apple juice, dude. Bro, they need to, yo, Corey needs to address this, bro. There needs to be a serious conversation in this relationship. Babe, why do you dress like Jay Leno? You are so dark. We don't even have Latino countries where we're from. How the hell do you look so dark? You need to address this anyway. Let's go get our Maccas. Today, we plan to go to Fat Pat's for lunch. But when we got there, we realized we had to wait to Nah, this needs to be addressed, bro. You need to do something about this shit. Maybe it's a cultural norm over there, bro, but you guys got to beat that cultural norm, dude. You know when, like, they used to say women make sandwiches and stuff like that? Or they'd be like, yo, black people like chicken and watermelon, right? I get it. Maybe it's, like, a cultural norm or whatever, and you want to feed into it. You need to break this one. This one is too far. This one is going a little bit way, 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 way off the deep end, bro. Your girl is, like... She's not bad looking. I have no problem with the way she looks. It's just this fake tan, bro. This fake tan is deep, bro. That shit's in the bone at this point, man. Why is that shit so goddamn dark? God damn. Bro, you need to you need to talk to her. There needs to be a conversation here. Two hours for our order. We come to Waku Waku instead. It's a 3D cafe, but they said no. No tables available, sorry. Damn. So we've come to Almost Burger instead. This was our second most requested place to come. I had a beef burger. It was so juicy and succulent. Leah had a chicken burger. And she said it was... What? Yo. Yo, bro. You did not eat that. He literally took a bite from the front and the back. That's that's insane. That's insane, bro. I can't, I can't vouch for this particular type of behavior, bro. Damn. A proper nice and a proper bargain as well. Manchester's such a... Bro, you need to tell your girl to chill back on that. It's just different, bro. It's too much. Shitty. This is the first time we've been here, like, properly. We had to wander around the shops. Obviously, I had to stop in Primark to get Leah a new bra. And they even have a photo booth here. No. Dude, do guys over there in the UK... Because, like, here here in America, right? A lot of girlies, a lot of uh, hashtag, I'm, uh, you know, I'm an it girly or whatever. They'll wear platform converse. They'll wear platform converse to accentuate their height or whatever. It's, it's with the times. I don't see a lot of guys wearing platform converse. I mean, he's wearing them. I have no issue with it, by the way. But a lot of people think that Corey is gay. Whenever we do live streams on the channel and we're watching his stuff, a lot of people go, wait, is that his girlfriend or is that his mom? And I always go, no, no, that's his girlfriend. And they go, I thought Corey was gay. And I thought, me too. Me too. I thought Corey was gay too. Like, he's a very flamboyant individual. The way he talks, the way he dresses. I mean, he, he does 
kind of look like he's from like the early 2000s in terms of the haircut and stuff like that which is no problem by the way if that's his style that's what he want to look that's fine with me but he kind of looks a little bit flamboyant he looks like he might be gay and i feel like a lot of people look at me and they go david you look gay me me i look gay compared to him let's be honest here for a second dude i am a picture of masculinity deep deep beefy magnificent masculinity too as well and this guy though platform converse i've been wearing the same shoes for three years okay but when you think of masculinity okay do you think of somebody that goes and buys clothes consistently no you think of the guy that smells like body odor that hasn't that thinks this is gay to even touch his butthole that's not me precisely but i don't you know i, I do gotta buy new clothes recently though probably i'm gonna do that sometime in the next week or two but the point i'm making is if you think i'm gay is he like omega gay anyway I mean, today I had a photo booth, but they also had a Shrek cafe far, far away. We're not with Charlie at the minute, so we only popped our head in to see what it was like if we did sat down. Is Shrek, like, really big over there in the UK? How come you guys have literal entire restaurants dedicated to it? What is up with that? Had some food without her. She probably would have blocked us and never spoke to us again. We're going to take Damn. Charlie back to the Shrek cafe tomorrow, so make sure you Damn, take out her video because you know it's going to be... Ooh. Oh. Shit, bro, calm down with that one. Jack Dick. Tonight we've ordered a Chinese, and this Chinese was so tasty. How do you have so much money to be spending like this, bro? I mean, they gotta be making some serious bread on TikTok for that, huh? Like to, to be ordering out as consistently as they are? I mean, they gotta be spending at least 50, 60 bills a day. Easy, bro. Easy. Not even counting the cash that they're spending on that uh on the alcoholic beverages. See, the curry sauce had a kick. I have just posted a spend a day with me. So if you want to see what else we got up to, make sure. Yo, why your knees a whole? Your knees darker than Kamala Harris, bro. Kamala, sorry. So you check it out. We had such a last day. Went to an art studio. Bro. Yo, a vending machine is dust, bro. I haven't, I haven't ate at a vending machine in years, bro. I didn't even know they had these still. Skating. We haven't stopped, but it's finally bedtime. What can we do in Manny tomorrow? Not a single piece of alcohol has touched my esophagus this weekend. That's we woke good. up fresh this morning. Charlie actually woke us up to breakfast in bed. She Making ordered us moves. some food from Uber Eats. Because she knows we're on a health kick, she chose some healthy options for us. We had a sandwich and a granola each. Very mindful. As promised, we've took Charlie to the Shrek Cafe. I don't think I've ever seen... Yeah, that Shrek Cafe looking real busted, bro. Ugh! Why does it look like that? Oh, it looks so gross. It looks like Shrek was back there. He did something extra to this. They're so excited. Charlie got the whole menu. Leah got some waffles. And I went for a cheese and onion toasty. We're still in Manchester. We've been yeah, bro. What's up with the what's up with the restaurants dedicated to Shrek? Is that really that common over there in the UK? Let me know if you know anything about that shit. Because I see these people going to these. It's, it seems like they go to them all at once. Like, they go, oh, we're on a Shrek kick. We're going to go to a Shrek restaurant. And they go to like four or five of them. Why are there so many? Staying in sale. I'm not sure why everyone's so concerned on why we stayed outside of Manchester. It's literally a thing. The cookies too, man. Somebody told me recently that the crumble cookies are like the serving sizes for the cookies are literally half or like one quarter of the cookie. So I guess one bite of the cookie and each cookie itself is like a thousand calories. So I guess you're getting 2,500 calories per bite, which is insane, dude. But I'm not surprised. I see so many people that get cookies at these places and they have no idea how many calories are in these cookies. There are a lot. Even if it's not a thousand calories, which is a lot of calories for a single cookie, I wouldn't be surprised if each one of these was like four to six hundred calories. And some of these people will be eating two, three, four, five cookies at once, man. I remember one time I was downtown and I was just chilling outside of a crumbles cookie, um, just minding my own business with this other person. We were waiting for somebody, and I saw this dude come out of the crumble cookie. He had three in a box, and I saw him literally just waiting outside for his wife. He bodied all three in a matter of about two or three minutes. And each one of those was about a thousand calories, right? So that means he literally swallowed down 2,500 to 3,000 calories in literally that one session. And so many people have no idea how many calories are actually in these things, bro. And just for some, just for some idea, you only need about 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day for most people. So the fact that that guy that I seen ate 3,000, 2,500 to 3,000, which is his entire day's worth of calories in literal one snack. 
It's not surprising, bro. I wouldn't be surprised either if these were around 600 calories. 15 minute drive to the center and it's got free parking. We got a Ben's cookie and the girls dragged me around Selfridges. Makeup shopping. Ugh. True. I picked up some new headphones before our four hour journey home. We decided to stop at Tim Hortons to get some tea. I went for a nacho chicken strip wrap with some potato waffles and this was stunning. I can feel my Canadian roots flowing through my veins. I 100% need to go to Canada soon. I've never been before. After a six. Mackies. You know, guys, we gotta go Mac. Bro, Corey's on some different shit today, bro. He, he literally in every single spot, it seems like, man. This gotta be the last one, dude. Going to McDonald's literally at the end of the day. Bro, why is McDonald's so prevalent over there in the UK? I thought here in America we love McDonald's. I mean, we don't even really go into it anymore because it's so expensive. But like, over there in the UK, what is going on, dude? Corey and, and, and Leah and, and Charlie Ann and, and Becky? Bro, these people be going to Macca's literally every day. Every day I see these people stopping off there at least once. Next hour journey home, driving all the way through the lanes instead of the motorway. There was one place we had to stop before. Damn, bro. That 20 piece is crazy, dude. That's a thousand right there. Red. Obviously Culver Mackies. I went for 20 nugs and we shared some cheese sticks. We've had the luscious weekend, but there's nothing like your own bed. And this cheese pull is my 13th reason why. Goodbye. Damn. My body is dude, my- that was crazy, bro. You're literally going through some serious trauma with your body, bro. If that's what you're doing to yourself. And health is wealth. I've been such a skinny legend today. Obviously, we're going on a cruise next week. So we've popped into Cardiff to get some bits and bobs and best. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Corey and Charlie Ann and Leah, which is Corey's girlfriend, and also Becky Jones. Beautiful, beautiful Becky Jones are going on a cruise, and I think it's going to be this Tuesday. So you're you're guys seeing this video on Wednesday. So by the time this video is uploaded. Um, they should be on the cruise, I believe. Like, Tuesday is, I believe, when they go off on the cruise. Uh, so, it's going to be awesome, dude. By the way, we do streams on the channel, this channel, every single night almost. So, if you guys want to check, um, just catch up on things, just to see what's going on. Get a few compliments thrown at your head. Make sure you tune in. We're going to be keeping up to date with all things Corey's World, Becky, whatever, all these people. Believe before the shopping trip, we had to stop a Slim's for Rabies. breakfast. It's my new addiction. I went for seven chicken strips, Damn. and Leah went for ten chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog, and bologna. Obviously, you've got to have a pot of gravy, and this was stunning. My sec I know you think you're being a good person by letting the person that you're with eat as much as they want, but, like, there needs to be a conversation here, or at least a compromise that... You know, bro, um, I know that this is like, hey, you know, you're my girlfriend and stuff like that, and, like, I'm eating terribly. You're, like, three feet sh shorter than me. You're getting really fat. Like, I feel like there needs to be some kind of conversation there, at least, right? I mean, they're they're eating so badly on every single day. So, it, it, it just kind of seems like there should be at least a conversation. The second fave place in Cardiff is Auntie Anne's. I love the vanilla churros. We've popped to Leah's mum and dad's. And Kirsty's got out the big boys. Oreo ice cream. The last thing I want to do after today is any form of exercise. But it's run day. And this run was a killer. But yeah, I think he's doing workouts like every week now. Which is great. Um, Awesome. But it's like Becky, like you're working out once every week, which is good. I'm happy that you can manage to do that. That's awesome, fantastic, and beautiful simultaneously, all those things. But once a week, we got to up that consistency a little bit. Like, can we get that two, three times a week at minimum? Like, you know, every other day? That would be pretty good. But also, it almost ma doesn't matter at all because you're eating literal garbage throughout the entire day. So, like, even if you do burn, let's say, like, 300 calories on this run— and then you come back home and you body slam a thousand, which I wouldn't even be surprised that ice cream that you were eating right here was somewhere close to about two, three, four hundred calories by itself. Then you just completely evaporated all the progress that you did while running. You almost it's almost as if you didn't run at all, if, if, if that makes any sense. And it's just going to discourage you. A lot of people that do run as much as they do and they eat like garbage. A lot of people just kind of go, it's not it's not worth it for me because like I'm not seeing any progress. You're not seeing any progress because you're eating too much. As you know, I'm on a health journey to try and become a bit physically fitter. It's the only thing I got to improve. On. My personality and looks are already 10 out of 10. True. I've been craving a rice box all day, but they had none in stock. And the old me would have ordered anything off the menu, but I decided to be a good boy and make egg on toast when I get That's home good. instead. Look at this egg pop. Yoki dokey. This took the edge off my hunger pains. Here I had a whole watermelon for tea. And it's finally time to climb into bed to watch EastEnders. My legs and feet are killing. It's not bad overall.
Take my it's bedtime okay. snacks out of 10. Uh -huh. If you're hungry right now, skip this video because you will be left celibate. I've had the most stunning food day. I've come to Cardiff. And for breakfast, we've come straight to Cardiff Damn, Market. Bro. The dirty knocky. I went for a sexy spaggy body. And I know for a fact I'm going to be dreaming about this spag ball for weeks. It was unreal. Charlie went for a cab. Seems like food is like their favorite thing, man. Like their only delight in life is literally eating or being around other people that are eating as well. B. Leah went for Mushroom Gorge. Mushroom Gorgeous? Strap on because we're not finished. The best thing to ever come out of England is Welsh cakes. This Damn. is Cardiff Baked Stone. And How they do all different types these? of Welsh cakes here. I went for caramel, Nutella, and jam and cream. Damn, these are... them things gotta be heavy on the calories, man. 10-10. The queue is quite hefty. Definitely worth it. We had to wander around the shops in Cardiff. On the way home, we stopped God. at MS for a lasagna. Damn, Corey. You can't have lasagna without mayo. How lush. Spag ball and lasagna in one day. Take me to Italy and call me Corey Varney at this point. Healthy eating's definitely gone out the window. You'll never guess what we've ordered for tea. Well, you probably will, Mac actually. Ice. It's not that unbelievable. Ugh. Oh, Donna kebab on chips with extra mayo. Ooh, that shit did not look good, bro. Well, you probably will, time? actually. It's not that unbelievable. So much mayo in the UK, man. What's up with that? You guys love the mayo, huh? You guys, real deal, love the mail over there in the UK. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I appreciate uh, everybody watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, I appreciate everybody leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things. I love and I love you tremendously. Um, somebody asked me to say happy birthday to their cat, and their cat's name is Smokey. So happy birthday to Smokey. I love Smokey. Smokey's a great person. Cats are great. I love cats in general. They're beautiful. I like celebrating National Cat Day as much as I possibly can. Every day is National Cat Day. We should all be appreciating as many cats as we possibly can because cats are beautiful people, the best amongst us, um, with the exception of the really big ones that actually kill you. Those ones are probably not the best, but they're still pretty okay. You just gotta admire them from a distance. Otherwise, you might die. Like that one Indian guy that thought it was a good idea to, like, jump into the tiger pit and die. Don't do that. Like, you know, they they don't really have the same communication pattern as, like, domesticated cats. And also, uh, domesticated cats are not big enough to literal murder you. Though I think they can do a pretty good amount of damage on you, depending on what you count as damage. They could. I've seen videos of cats, like, fucking people up. But, anyway... If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in Smokey because we need to celebrate every cat as much as we possibly can. Um, if uh, you're here right now, I got to remind everybody that you're beautiful and I love your skincare routine. And guess what else I love? Your teeth. Your teeth look great and amazing and spectacular and beautiful and they are very well lubricated, very well coarse and white and amazing. And I can tell that you brush them with ferocity to ensure that they're sparkly and beautiful just like you. Just like you. You amazing, good, taking care of yourself person. Anyway. If you want to check out the socials, they'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.